DC. Here is Kamaru Usman back on the proven ground here tonight, and even dating to the Ultimate Fighter back in 2015. You got the sense pretty early on that we were looking at somebody special. He was able to cap it with the UFC Championship. He's back on the horse here tonight. He has this undying belief in himself. He believes that he hard work, all the results will show, and they have for Kamaru Usman. From the pace and pressure he put on Dos Anjos, to the pace and pressure he put on Woodley, he shows now, and in those fights, why he's one of the best fighters in the welterweight division. And he's really coming into his own when it comes to his striking. Certainly, he's had a lot of standard influences in his ear. Henry Hooft, of course, Greg Jones on the wrestling side. Kamar Usman, as he put it way back in the day, is a real problem. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated, 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder. Nobody works harder. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. Sambo competition because these guys are trying to both get the fight to the floor and they're trying to get bragging rights because no one has the accomplishments of these two in the grappling realm. So if one of them can secure a submission, it only will add to their legacy inside of the grappling world. And of course, if you're someone who likes the striking game, uh, maybe you'll like our next fight. Yes. Bushman's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, 
that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Changes his stance. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. While we talk about his reach advantage off the top, made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Takedown defense holds up. And there comes the separation now. Hip tosses him down, now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Ramago Medovs has got full mount now. Let's go, guys, work! Final minute. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nermago medov has got the full mount. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Just take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov. And Kamaru Usman. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Working out of that southpaw stance. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Three minutes now to go here in round two. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Usman. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. All right, trying to pass here. As Gilbert Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. 
great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Nice stick with the right hand. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Now he's on top. do it! Yeah, that right there was a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Playing the winner 